Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you a decorative glass block DIY. This DIY was inspired by Pinterest. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you're new here, my name is Sharon, and if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Thanks for stopping by, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below, along with that notification bell. Make sure you hit the notification bell twice, so you'll be notified when I upload new videos, and I upload new videos multiple times a week. Here I'm just in PowerPoint creating my own quote, and here I'm printing them out, as you can see, as they come out of the printer. I'm going to print two of them because I want one on the front and one on the back. Okay, I've printed out the saying that I want to go on or in my glass block. It says family is not an important thing, it's everything. And I printed two of them because my thinking is that I'm going to put one on the front and one on the back. Um, it is a frosted label. It says clear. The package says clear, but it is a frosting tool. You'll see once I put it on. Uh, I'm still trying to decide whether I wanted to cut it out and place it inside or whether I wanted to cut it and actually adhere it. You know, peel the backing off and adhere it to the top of the glass block. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. Um, I think I'm going to lay it on the top because it would, it's not a permanent fix. Well, it's not permanent, but it is semi-permanent. And I think that's probably the best way to go seeing how I'm going to be putting the lights on the inside so I figure it's probably best to lay them on top but right now I'm going to cut them out I'm going to get them as close to the dimension that I think I need and get them as close as I can it is so cold here today and as you all know I hate winter I hate being cold. I am from the Southwest. And I just don't like being cold. I'd rather not cut enough and then have to fix it than to cut too much because you can't. still seems a little tall now the one of the things I want to give you guys a heads up about too when you're when you're creating your own DIY glass block is the top here the one that I got and I got this one from Michaels has just a small little hole in the top some of the others actually have um, like a rectangle opening which gives you more space and allows you to work inside the glass block a little better this one's gonna be tight and hard to work with that is why I thought I would put my quote on the outside of the glass as opposed to the inside. Not only that and because of the lights. But don't make the mistake that I did. Try and get the ones that have the bigger opening. They're easier to work with. But this one is it's workable too. It's workable. Now I also like to round the corners on this. So I'm going to do a 40, 4 millimeter. I actually ended up going with a 7 millimeter around the edges.
But like I said, the top, the, the labels say that it, it's clear, but um, this one was in fact frosted. So make sure if you want yours clear, make sure the labels are clear. And this is the, um, just an FYI, this is the 18, there's 18 lights. So it's a small strand. I didn't want to get anything that was too big. I'll end up changing the floral theme on this to spring as soon as it gets here. I like the way it turned out. What do you think? Leave me a comment below. And if you liked it too, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos multiple times a week. Make sure you like and share because it does help my channel to grow. And with that being said, Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you right back here on Creative Glam. Bye.